Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can research a token on Solana using Nansen in a couple of minutes. The first thing you need to do when you open up app.nansen.ai is search for the token you're interested in. I'm going to use the popular meme coin dog with hat. When you open up Nansen and you search your token, we'll go to the overall page to see all the key information that you need to know just to get an understanding of what's going on. This includes the price movement, price history, who bought, who sold over the last 24 hours, seven days, any custom time period. This is great for identifying interesting addresses that may have bought early or sold highs. The DEX trades live, so we can see right now there are trades happening as I'm recording this. And then we can also see the top transfers over a specific time frame. So this information gives you a good overview of WIF. But let's say you want to dive a bit deeper. Here's how you can do it with Nansen. First, we have the balances tab. As the name implies, this gives you an understanding of the balance holders of WIF in real time. And if you're ever unsure about what a tab or dashboard shows you, just go to this eye here and it tells you exactly what you need to know. Here we can see the top holders by address or by entity. And we can also filter this by smart money or additional filters here. If you want to dive a bit deeper into address, but you're not too sure if they're interesting enough right away, just hover over the address and you can see their labels and interesting information such as win rate, their net worth, and PNL. Some addresses will have emojis next to them. So in this case, this will indicate that this is an exchange. You might see the smart money label across Nansen, that implies smart money. And then we also have a contract uh, label as well. We have the exchanges tab. This gives you understanding of the activity of the token relating to exchanges. So if we see an increase on exchanges, that implies more tokens are being sent to exchanges. And if we're seeing uh, tokens uh, reduce from exchanges, that implies that maybe people are withdrawing, having bought, recently bought. We then have the smart money tab. So these are the top addresses across various different sectors within crypto. And it tells you what they're doing with this token. So this first chart tells you the amount of tokens held by smart money and the amount of tokens that they hold. Then if we scroll down just a little bit more, we can see the token holdings of these addresses and then also the token transfers. And the final feature that I want to show you is the PNL leaderboard. The PNL leaderboard is a new feature that we have in Nansen and is incredibly powerful. It services the top addresses in PNL, either in realized or unrealized gains, and gives you so much information to find interesting addresses. For example, here on by default, we can see total PNL. Uh, by default, and this one address here has taken $53 million in realized gains from WIF. But let's have a look at the top addresses in unrealized gains in the last 90 days. We can see here, that this address here, Pepe with hat, has a total PL of 12.3 million, has realized just under 600,000, and has an unrealized PL of just under 12 million. And we can see they're holding 89% left. We can click on the address right here to see what else they're holding. And we can see that their portfolio has grown significantly, but well, they've only taken profit from one token, but hold other popular meme coins such as PopCat and Bonk. So that's how you can research a token on Nansen in just a couple of minutes. If you have any questions about how to use Nansen on Solana or any other network that we support, send us an email at support at nansen.ai, tweet us at nansen underscore AI, or reply to this video. Enjoy.